All right, class, now let's work on um, just showing you what you can do with the configurations also. Um, there's properties. Every time you select one of these configurations, you can right-click and go to your properties. You can change the name of your configuration here. Um, you know, default, or you can say original, whatever you want. Maybe you're uh, doing part configurations where, you know, like an Allen key or a wrench. You know, it's going to be your, one of your projects where you can say, oh, this is a you know, M5 size, M6 size. Maybe the default is your M5 and then M6 after that, M7. So you can uh, do that in description. Um, you know, at default position. Uh, you can use this in build materials. If you're doing multiple configurations, possibly uh, you want to keep that in the build materials. That way each configuration will be saved as a separate uh, entity in the build materials. Um, it's the name of your uh, part wherever. With this configuration name and document name, uh, the only difference pretty much what that does, document name will keep a little parentheses. It'll, it'll give you the, the configuration name and then after that parentheses, the part name. Uh, when you have just your configuration name, it uh, will just, just have whatever your configuration name is for each configuration. Um, that's just preference pretty much. Suppress features. I always keep this on, suppress features, because when you're working in an individual um, configuration, let's say like default, once you, once you created your uh, design table, you're working in one of your configurations, default, let's say I make a change to it, I add a feature or I change dimension like that. With this, this will suppress that in all the other configurations unless I go into those configurations and then enable those, uh, whatever changes I do. So if I were to uh, you know, make a change to like the third different configuration I've done, you know, let's say uh, short you know, in this example, if I made a, a change to short um, with this selected, it won't show up in the long or the default. So um, I always keep that selected because you can always go back and then uh, whatever changes you make, you could then either suppress or unsuppress in each of the configurations. So that is pretty much all. Oh, let me, let me show you real quickly the difference between a document name, which you can see that. But document name, see, it keeps the uh, configuration name and then parentheses the name of the part, which this one I called part two for videos. But if I were to actually uh, go back here and go configuration name, now see how there's no parentheses. Uh, this, though, each of your properties, um, you can go select uh, the same, same features and change the names. So you have to do that for each of the individual configurations.